Imagine you are in a garden standing by a tree and you want to find out how tall it is. What are the possible ways you can do this? A ladder might be helpful, right? But what if you don't have a ladder? This is where trigonometry helps us. Trigonometry is derived from the Greek word tri meaning three, gun meaning sides and metron meaning measures. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics that uses triangles, particularly right angle triangle to help us find large distances and heights. It is the study of relationship between the sides and angles of a triangle. Let's now understand trigonometric ratios. As the name suggests, these are the ratios of the sides of a right angle triangle with respect to its acute angles. Consider right angle triangle ABC where B is an acute angle. The longest side AB is called hypotenuse. The side opposite to the acute angle B is AC and is known as perpendicular. The side adjacent to the angle B is BC and is known as the base. It is important to note that perpendicular and base will interchange their positions if we consider the other acute angle A. The first trigonometric ratio is sin B, which is defined as the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse. The second trigonometric ratio is cosine B, which is defined as the ratio of base and hypotenuse. The third trigonometric ratio is tangent B, which is defined as the ratio of perpendicular and base. Now on careful observation, the ratio of sin B and cosine B will give us the ratio of perpendicular and base which is equal to tangent B. There are other three trigonometric ratios which are reciprocal of the first three three ratios. Cosecant B, abbreviated as cosec B, is the reciprocal of sin B which gives us the ratio of hypotenuse and perpendicular. Secant B is abbreviated as sec B which is the reciprocal of cosine B which gives us the ratio of hypotenuse to base. Cotangent B abbreviated as cot B, it is the reciprocal of tangent which gives us the ratio of base to perpendicular. It should be noted that sin B is short for sine of angle B and it does not mean sine multiplied by B. Sine of angle B means that the value of ratio depends on angle B and not on the length of the sides. For example, consider three triangles ABC, triangle PQR and triangle LMN. In each case, the acute angle B, Q and M respectively are 30 degrees. The three considered triangles vary in size. If we find sine of B, Q and M, we find in each case we get our answer as half. This is because the angle in each case was same. Now let's solve some problems based on trigonometric ratios. Consider a right angle triangle PQR with side PQ equals 12 cm and side PR measuring 13 cm. We need to find the value of tan P minus cot R. In order to find the value of tan P, we have to consider the acute angle at P. Therefore, the side PQ is adjacent to angle P and is called as the base of the triangle. Side PR is the hypotenuse and side QR is acting as perpendicular. We know that tan P equals the ratio of perpendicular to base, which is equal to the ratio of side QR to side PQ. But we don't know the value of QR. So we use PGT to find the length of QR. On putting the corresponding values of hypotenuse, perpendicular and base we get. QR equals root of 13 square minus 12 square, which on simplification gives root of 169 minus 144, which is equal to root of 25, which on simplification equals 5. Putting the value of side QR and side PQ in equation number 1, we get 10P equals 5 over 12. To find the value of cotangent R, we have to consider the acute angle R. Now the side QR is adjacent to angle R and is called as the base. Side PQ is the perpendicular. We know that cotangent R equals the ratio of base to perpendicular which is equal to the ratio of side QR to side PQ. On putting the values of QR and PQ, we get cotangent R equals 5 over 12. On putting the values of tangent P and cot R, we get 5 over 12 minus 5 over 12, which is equal to 0. Moving on to the next problem. If angle A and angle P are acute angles such that the value of cosine A equals value of cosine B, we need to show that angle A equals angle B. Consider triangle BAC. To find the value of cosine A, we need to consider the acute angle A. So AC is the base, BC is the perpendicular and side AB is the hypotenuse. So cosine of A equals the ratio of side AC to side AB. Similarly, to find the value of cosine B, consider acute angle B. BC is the base, side AC is the perpendicular and side AB is the hypotenuse. So cosine B equals the ratio of side BC to side AB. As it is given, the value of cosine A equals the value of cosine B. Therefore, putting the corresponding values we get AC over AB equals BC over AB. On simplification of AP with AB, we get AC equals BC. Since angles opposite to equal sides are equal, therefore we conclude angle A equals angle B. Moving on to the next problem. Consider triangle PQR right angled at Q such that the sum of side PR and QR equals 25 cm and side PQ measures 5 cm. We need to find the value of sine P cosine p and tangent p. 
For this, we need to find the values of PR and QR. Since side PR and QR can't be simplified directly due to different variables, so we need to substitute both PR and QR in same variable. In order to do so, let us assume the side PR equals x centimeter. Therefore, using equation 1, side QR equals 25 minus x centimeter. Now, using PGT in triangle PQR, we get PR square equals the sum of PQ square and QR square. On putting the corresponding values, we get x square equals 5 square plus 25 minus x whole square. Since constant and variable can't be simplified, therefore on transposing 25 minus x whole square to the left side we get x square minus 25 minus x whole square equals 25. Using the identity a square minus b square equals a plus b a minus b we get x plus 25 minus x into x minus 25 plus x equals 25. On simplification we get 25 into 2x minus 25 equals 25. On simplifying 25 by 25 we get 2x minus 25 equals 1, which on transposing becomes 2x equals 1 plus 25. Therefore x equals 26 over 2, which on simplification gives 13. As x represents side PR, therefore using equation number 1, side QR equals 25 minus 13 cm which is equal to 12 cm. As sin P is the ratio of perpendicular to hypotenuse, Therefore, on putting the corresponding values of perpendicular and hypotenuse, we get 12 over 13. Similarly, cosine P is the ratio of base to hypotenuse. Therefore, on putting the corresponding values, we get 5 over 13. And tangent P is the ratio of perpendicular to base. On putting the corresponding values, we get 12 over 5. It should be noted that tangent P can be evaluated by taking the ratio of sine P to cosine P. On putting the corresponding values of sine P and cosine P, which on simplification gives 12 over 5. So this was it for the video, see you in the next one, thank you for watching.